Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you how we can use our SpotMap HCP analysis software to determine anti-HCP antibody coverage by volume as compared to spot number. Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you how we can switch between spot number based coverage and spot volume based coverage within our SpotMap software and kind of explain why you would want to, to do both or either. So traditionally spot based coverage has been used as a measure of the accuracy and the specificity of your anti-host cell protein. So you would typically have a total protein stained image on one side, an antibody probed image on the other side, and you would say, right, well, if I've got 100 spots of protein in my sample, how many of those spots is my antibody going to detect? So say if it was 100 versus 91, you would get a 91% coverage score. But that doesn't tell you anything about how sensitive your antibody is to those spots. It simply asks, is one in the other? Now, volume-based coverage is especially useful if you're moving, if you're performing a bridging assay and you want to validate a secondary batch or, or another batch of antibody versus an existing batch. So say if you had run out of your batch of antibody A, and you wanted to validate your use of antibody B as its replacement. Those two antibodies could have the same coverage score. They could detect, you know, 91% protein. But would it detect them with the same level of sensitivity? Or do you need to make some changes in your process, in the, in the kind of concentration of antibody you're using to accommodate any, any differences between batches? So they may both detect the same number of spots but if we switch to volume based coverage you can see that the coverage score changes now what we're analyzing here is when we zoom in on our spots you can see that the software actually analyzes them as a cone so the volume based coverage analyzes your spots in terms of size and height and intensity and two spots with two different antibodies can both be detected, so they would show 100% coverage, but one could be detected with a tenth of the intensity of another, in which case you would need to use, you know, speaking very, very simply, you'd need to use 10 times as much of that antibody to get the same level of signal that you were getting with antibody A. So this is where volume-based coverage becomes really important. You want to make sure that the antibodies you're switching from and to are as comparable as possible to make sure that you don't need to change your processes or if you do need to change your processes to give you an idea as to how you need to change your processes. So if you need to increase your anti host cell protein antibody concentration for use during kind of capture and purification, this will give you the information that you need to do that, but it will also give you the information you need to validate the use of that antibody and for any kind of regulatory filings that you may need to, to provide. So that's the difference between spot number based coverage and volume based coverage. Spot number based coverage is simply asking the question, are these spots in image A represented in image B? But it doesn't give you anything about kind of the intensity of, of, of that signal or how sensitive that antibody is. If you want to get that kind of information from your 2D gels and Western blots, you're going to have to dive deeper and say, right, well, if I can detect this much protein with this antibody, can I detect a similar level of protein with my secondary antibody? So am I detecting the same things and am I detecting them with the same kind of specificity, the same kind of accuracy as I was before? And that could be a really important metric when you're wanting to develop anti host cell protein ELISAs, for example, for use in-house or, or for your purification steps within biotherapeutic production. As ever, thanks for watching. And if you'd like to try out a free trial copy of SpotMap to work on your own images from your own lab, please check out the link in the description below.